Hi, I'm Phil Vickery and welcome to my podcasts. I've got some delicious new recipes for you which are really easy and simple to make. So there's absolutely no excuse why you can't give them a try. Welcome to my podcast. Now today I'm making iced berry and lemon meringue layer. It's a fantastically easy pudding, but it makes a great centerpiece for your dinner party or whatever you're gonna do. For this, you'll need meringues, double cream, raspberries, lemon zest, lemon juice, raspberry jam, strawberries, and carnation condensed milk light. Now, first thing to do is to lay two pieces of cling film on a board like this. Here's a great tip. If you get a little bit of oil and a brush and just coat the inside of a tin, when you line the tin with cling film, you will find that it should go in nice and easily and stick to the side perfectly without any little air gaps. The reason for this is when you've actually made the pudding and you've frozen it, you can pop it out much easier. We'll just put that to one side. Right, next I'm going to just break up these meringues. Now you can buy these meringues already made. You can make your own, it's really up to you. But there's some good products around at the moment. And I really cannot be bothered to make too many meringues on a regular basis. So just like that. Put that to one side. Then I'm going to whip up double cream. 150 mils, which is a quarter of a pint. And we'll just whisk this up. Now, a good tip here, when you're whipping double cream especially, what you must do is whip it until it has a nice soft peak, just like this here. Okay, next I'm gonna add can of carnation condensed milk light and just pop that straight on top like that and we're just going to stir this in we're not going to whisk it in there's no need yeah. and just literally fold this through once that's folded in that to one side I'm just going to squeeze three lemons to get all the juice I've already got the zest there. Now this is the thickening part of the mousse or layer. So you squeeze the juice. And just pour the juice to the zest. Then you add the juice and the zest to the condensed milk light and the double cream and stir that and within three or four seconds as you'll see and the whole thing thickens perfectly as if by magic look at that excellent right tidy up then in a separate bowl we're going to add the fruit so here I've got some strawberries, chopped nice and small. Be careful with strawberries, if you leave the fruit whole and it freezes, you end up with almost like a frozen lolly. So you've got to be slightly careful, but we don't want that to happen, otherwise it's just too hard to eat. To help that along also, we can add some raspberry or strawberry jam, it's really up to you. And just mix those two together. Now you can use frozen berries, it's up to you, and any fruit will do. Mango works particularly well, as does pineapple and kiwi, but the same rule applies. Chop it nice and small. Once that's thoroughly mixed, we can now assemble the pudding. So, we'll place a little bit of the mixture into the bottom, just enough to coat the bottom of the tray or tin. I'll just show you that in a second. 
like that. Push it into the corners. Then we're going to add about half the meringue. I'll tip those in there. Like that. Press those into the corners. Fruit, just bring that in. Let's press that down so they mix together nicely. And then we'll add half the mixture. As you can see already, that's thickened up beautifully. Spread that out. And you can be quite brutal at this point because we want to make sure that the, the lemon meringue and fruit all mix together nicely. So you know, don't be too timid with it. Give that a tap down. See that there? Then we'll add a bit more meringue. We'll then add the rest of the fruit. And jam. Spread those out. Again, push those down into the lemon cream mixture. It smells delicious. Like so. And finally, we'll add the last of the lemon, cream and condensed milk mixture. Again, don't waste any. I'll we'll spread that over the top. And as you can see already how that's thickened beautifully. And it's got a lovely shine to it. Knock that down. This is an important point. What we're trying to do is get the air bubbles out of there. If I lift that over. Put the cling film over. Push that down back into the tin so you get a nice shape at the end. And then pop that into a freezer for about minimum four hours. So quite firm, as you can see, but you'll still be able to slice it perfectly. And you just undo the cling film. That and then what I do get your plate ready like that. Put that over onto your serving dish. Lift off the tin because the cling film is nicely oiled. It'll just pull off perfectly like that. Look at little pockets of meringue where they started to weep slightly from being in the freezer. Look at that. Here's a good tip. Use a thin bladed knife rather than a thick bladed knife and that will cut through much easier through the frozen mixture. And if you just warm the knife to the water, hot water, and slice straight through, and there it is. The best bit, have a taste. It's a lovely combination of lemon, fruit, cream, condensed milk. That is delicious and so easy. For more delicious recipes and ideas go to carnation.co.uk. I've made it, now it's your turn.